Greetings fans. Today we will talk about three different reasons for you to pursue a career in export sales. Of course, before counting these reasons, one or two footnotes should be mentioned. First of all, you may question, my department is not directly related to export sales, so why I should plan such a career? After all, there are much more relevant career files related to your department. You can choose them. But we want you to know that you are not limited to these opportunities. It's a journey and get to know other paths along the way. Career is not a one-dimensional phenomenon. On the other hand, 50% of university graduates worldwide work in, work in jobs unrelated to their majors. So some of them are out of necessity, some of them voluntarily. Adapting to these processes is very valuable. Another point is, of course, export sales is a very valuable career field and has high potential, but it's not suitable for everyone. I accept. There are some people who are very good at selling products to potential customers abroad. For them, this chapter is already a blessing. But I claim that anyone who pushes himself can have a successful career in overseas sales. This sentence may seem to contradict my previous sentence, but it's not. I want to say this. Some people have inherent salesman genes. They make this job much more comfortable. There is no such talent in another part of people, but they can have this competence with desire, curiosity, and learning process. Friends in the second category may have a little more difficult, but they can also reach the result if they want. So why not necessarily overseas sales? Are the career opportunities in domestic sales not that bright. Of course, domestic sales are also good. There will be financial and moral returns for you. But personally, I give more I give more priority to overseas sales in terms of exponential return. Now, after this introduction, we can begin to explain three reasons. First of all, exchange-based come income. One of the most important advantages that export sales will bring to you is foreign currency-based earnings. When you work in jobs related to your current major, your income will likely be in local currency because you are doing business in the local market. In the long run, this can curb the upward momentum in your career. Inflation is one of these reasons. Yet another reason that is that your target audience is in a lower market. Therefore, it is very valuable that we aim to make money in the international arena in our career life. I'm not just saying this for export sales. This is also true in jobs directly related to your department or in other indirect occupations. Take YouTube broad broadcasts, for example. Get people abroad to watch it with subtitle support, and then tell those people about your expertise. Therefore, having a global perspective is more important than what you do. Because let's say X number of people live in the country you live in. Among them, your target audience should be at the level of 5%. In order to reach these people, you have to spend a lot of time and create a content archive. However, Thanks to subtitles, it's possible to speed up this process much more. Another benefit of export sales related to this item is that you can earn money like a shareholder. I am talking about the salary plus bonus system here. Yes, the salary is usually a little more lower, but with bonuses, you don't think too much about this, that salary anyway. It will be much easier for you to make a difference.
So, yes, the salary is usually a little lower, lower, but these bonuses, you can't think too much about that salary anyway. It will be much easier for you to make a difference with your technical knowledge, especially if you sell services, products, products in sector related to your department. It's also related to the fact that industrial companies employ graduates of niche departments, such as chemistry, food, materials engineering in their export sales units. You can think of this for all sections. Yes, you may find it difficult in the first month when selling abroad, but in the following months, you will see that it's definitely worth it. All of you will enter the business leave in some way and you will work uh, nine or 10 hours a day. Focus on getting the reward of this time, friends. At this point, some friends may not be suitable for the premium method and may want to work only on salary. I understand this, but in today's career work, there are some points where it's necessary to take risks. In other words, getting a little extra salary may make you happy, but in the long run, it will not take you to much bigger places. Let's consider other units, other than sales, human resources, marketing, production, or others. Of course, there are also people in these units who open up to the world or earn a lot of money, but they are proportionally much lower than the general public. In sales, even when you show an average success, it's much easier to rise to the top because your successes are tangible. On the other hand, another important point of export sales defense, a mentality that we have always advocated. More precisely, there is such a point among the benefits of this business. Do it once, always win. How? For example, share a video and earn a revenue from it for the rest of your life live or write some software code and continue to generate revenue as people buy it for the rest of your life such is the case with sales once you hook up a customer you can earn money from that customer for the rest of your life especially if you decide to stay in that industry. Think of it this way. For example, you send a container of goods to company A in any country per month. You will, combine, you will continue to earn a premium for every container that customer buys from you. Moreover, if you brought that customer, the company you export to will now you directly, not your company. Thus, you will have a strong trump card against the company you work for. If you want to move to another country or company in the same sector in the future, you will be able to carry that customer portfolio. The second biggest plus of export sales is that it offers the opportunity to go abroad regularly. I think this is a very critical point and one that should definitely be considered. You are limited to what you can achieve when you work locally in any country. The money you will learn, the point you can reach, the network you can achieve or other things. This applies to all countries. Instead of it's much more valuable to reach people in different parts of the world and focus on selling something to them. Going abroad for market research, customer visits, or other dimensions will train you in an incredible way. Of course, these visits won't be a personal trip. You will go for the interests of the company. But sometimes 
you can take time for yourself. Especially if you become a successful salesperson, the company won't mean staying one more day after trade shows or customer visits. In addition, almost every company gives an allowance in dollars or euros for each day you spend abroad. This can create a good side income if you do it consistently. Each of these opportunities, when combined, will enable you to have a very valuable career in the long run. Moreover, the only output here is not to sell products. Your purpose of going abroad may be to sell goods, but apart from this, you can get many other opportunities, especially at fairs, social environments, etc. It's possible to storm ideas with people of different minds. You can discover new markets, develop new products, or see completely, completely different possibilities. Sometimes you may not see them at first. Maybe at that moment, you, the content of your speech will not give you concrete outputs. But as you collect them, you will be able to see that completely different doors open by themselves. It will provide you with an accumulated know-how. Maybe it's much easier for, for, uh, for you to see a distributorship, new distribution channel, or new markets with other people abroad. But I also have to say this. This is not an easy process. In other words, no one will say to you, let's, sign, let's send you to country X this week and to country Y next week, out of the blue. First, you will learn two foreign languages, research sales techniques. You will be rejected by many companies until you get the job. These are a description of that snowy weather you will experience before sunny days. But when you pass this race, sunny days will welcome you. And the last one, global career opportunity. Another advantage of export sales is the opportunity for a global career. Let's consider other professions again. Probably there is no equivalent for your profession in other countries other than the countries where you do these jobs. More precisely, it's difficult for them to employ you as someone abroad, even if it is in the return, because the company you applied to abroad cannot know the scope and quality of your previous company and the quality of your work. Honestly, knowing this wouldn't take too much time because there are probably people in your own country doing this job as well. The exception is the software and design world. They don't have many options. Therefore, many companies employ software developers from abroad, but it's not possible to say that is in every field. At this point, sales like software have a privileged point, especially if there is a niche industry in which you are an expert, companies abroad will try to transfer you. Visa is visa, passport is passport. Because there is a sales place that almost every company needs for every country and industry. Of course, you don't necessarily have to go abroad. Sometimes companies in your country may offer much more opportunities than companies abroad. But having such an opportunity will increase your market really much more. Because when you stay in the local market, the companies you work for may say it needs it anyway. I would also like to add that when we say global career opportunities, we shouldn't necessarily focus on going abroad. This includes developing possible collaborations and new business opportunities based abroad. What am I talking about? For example, you made a difference as an export salesman or saleswoman in any company. You can meet people who do the same job in Finland, Singapore, Brazil, and earn foreign currency again. 
when you have the feeling that I'm I now uh, every detail of this industry now I shouldn't be tied to this company it's possible to go to the, this stage you meet with other colleagues abroad and establish a joint company so you can pass business to each other of course you don't need to set up a company for this you can do it while you are in any connection on LinkedIn. But it's possible to establish a joint company and grow the business together. Of course, you need to use LinkedIn groups for this. Be sure to join to join global trade groups on LinkedIn. Join fail groups. Because people called brokers in the international sales world are in such groups. I'm not using that as a bad little. Bad title, title. It's actually, actually quite a bit of work. Consulting job, just like management in football. There is a management system here. For example, a broker in Dubai deals with one or several manufacturers in Asia and finds customers for them from the MENA region. This consultant is independent, not a staff member of those manufacturing companies. He gets a commission for every product he or she sells. With sales in Abu Dhabi, Jeddah, Dubai, and many other cities, it can expand both its portfolio and commission. This commission or advisory model is getting bigger every year because the profession is one of the biggest parts of global business. This the plus of Turkey at this point is that the products produced in Turkey are of really high quality. Although the selling price remains low, the product quality is largely high. So why isn't the selling price more expensive? Because the consulting culture is not very common in this region yet. And of course, it's about branding. This may be an opportunity for you. You can focus on international sales and make a difference in any sector related or unrelated to your department. This is generally what I want to say. I think that there are so many opportunities in this world. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the talk, I cannot claim that this profession is in everyone's nature. It may not be suitable for your personality structure. It may not be suitable for your own career expectations. Of course, it's not possible for me to know. However, now that such an opportunity exists and include it in the early stage of your career planning, you don't have to do it in the following years. But when you are a university student or a recent graduate, spend some time on this subject. If necessary, work voluntarily in a company. At least see that environment for three or four months. Feel the ambience. Maybe export sales won't catch your attention, but another area of that structure might be of interest to you. Maybe there is another element that draws your attention in the operation, although it's not on sale. We will continue to tell you about such new important new opportunities related to your career engineering, which we think have potential. Finally, if you think you are if you are fed by this video, if this video has added something to you, you can support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next videos. Bye for now.